The Olden World, written by Tsar Yoshi. Chapter 749, Planning for Tomorrow. Rain blew in torrents around the immortal dream, the storm showing no sign of exhausting itself. Villet and Shinespark shared the pilot's chair, hooves away from the controls as the ship held its own course, leaning against each other and watching the weather. Thanks, Shinespark said after a long silence. For laying off the teasing, Villet knew she wasn't looking and didn't bother raising an eyebrow. For snogging you, just thank you. Shinespark waited a minute before elaborating. I don't know how you do it. Going from being terrified of offending any of us to laughing while I'm yelling at you in a single day. It's like you're a completely different pony. Valet gave a small shrug. Yeah, so now that that's over, did you actually want me to knock it off? Serious question here. I still, um, still don't want to go too far. Yes. But that doesn't mean you should have. The lace squinted. I don't get it. <sighs> Shinespark sighed. It's hard for me to explain. Ponies breaking the rules irks me sometimes. Like you, kissing me and running off to the tower. Or just now, when I was trying to get it for your head why you're not supposed to do that, and... Uh, she briefly gritted her teeth and relaxed. I don't know why I find it so attractive when you make a mockery of the way I want things to be done. It's intensely frustrating, but it also makes me like you. So, did I or didn't I go too far, Valet pressed. Like, at the end of the day, I know you're gonna forgive me if I do. You were pretty clear about that back in the cave, and I'm trusting that you're gonna keep your word. But, I also don't want to strain that if I don't have to. Ugh, Valet, Shreisberg groaned. I have no idea. I hate it, and... I also love you because of it, and I stand by what I said in the cave. I missed it while it was gone. Sorry, I wish I could tell you better how my heart works, but I'm new at this. All I know is that if you wanted us to keep pretending I didn't have any feelings for you, yes, you've gone way too far. Yeah, Valet stuck out her tongue. I mean, you're here, and I'm here, and neither of us are leaving. Sharing a chair meant for one. Doesn't seem like either of us have a problem with it. That's good. Shinespark closed her eyes and relaxed. Now, it's your turn. How did you do it? After what we talked about in the caves, I thought... Vele mm, shrugged. Thought there would be baby steps involved? Yeah, I don't know. I kind of did too. But it's like a breaking dam or something. Everything else that happened tonight probably helped. A whole lot of adrenaline, fighting evil. For half a second there, against Gazelle... I actually had a flashback, and it was like I was right there fighting Herman back in Ironwich. You know how I killed that guy? Tell me? Vili nodded. Stabbed him through the heart with an icicle. He deserved it. Anyway, Stolich was making a ton of crystals just now, and I got a big old spike and was jumping, and Gazelle was helpless, and... I could have done exactly the same to him. Right through the heart. Lights out. I saw it, and it was like I was right back there. And I deliberately took his ear off instead. Just like that. Shinespark leaned against her. And that played into you teasing me just now? I mean, kinda. Valet shrugged again. Like I said, it felt really good to completely trounce someone I knew was a bad guy. I actually strolled around and lectured him on it while throwing mud at his face. And I do feel sort of bad for him, especially since his sister says he was once a really nice guy, but he deserved every bit of it. Uh, she took a deep breath. Bananas, I needed that. I needed it more than he did. I got to be the good guy again. Sparky, you get like... You get what this feels like to me, right? I don't need the Night Mother telling me I'm not predestined for evil spookiness. I need stuff like this. I feel fantastic, so... I guess I was just in a good mood. Shinespark put a hoof around her back, pulling her a little closer. If that's what it took, I'm so glad you're feeling more like yourself. Hey, you help too. Valet nudged her. A lot. 
being in the mood to dunk on Stormhoof was nice, even though it's probably terrible for them. Not to try to undo progress, but... Uh, shines back winced. You feel good for beating Gazelle, but not bad for wiping out that keep? Yeah, they frowned. I didn't wipe out Stormhoof. I went to save my full napped friend. Anything bad that comes of that is on everyone who set this up. Maybe I had a hoof in it, but I'm not apologizing for looking out for you guys. Shinespark closed her eyes and held her. That's the villain I want to see. Yeah, Valet returned it with a wing around Shinespark's back. Ah, about that, though, I do have some bad news. Shinespark's ears folded. Valet took a breath. Felicity and her sister set me up. I got played. They staged that whole thing with Gazelle that happened on our ship to get me to wreck the fort for them, and apparently had a band of assassins heading to clean up the rest of the royals now that the tower's standing army is down. I, um, uh, thought we were good friends and might have trusted them a little too much and... Yeah. They what? Shrinsbuck's eyes widened slightly in alarm. When did you find out about this? You didn't have us go back to Stormhoof to help? And Felicity is still on our ship? One thing at a time, Valet urged, trying to calm Shinespark down. They told me themselves. As for Stormhoof, we weren't far out and could have gone back, but to be frank, I'm not a huge fan of Stormhoof and Everlast either. Assassinations aren't cool, but as far as I'm concerned, at best for those lords, this was bad guys versus bad guys. And when I've taken out Yakistan's ambassador myself, I sure had good reason. I'm ticked at Felicity and her sisters really hard, but figured this was a conflict I wanted to stay out of. Those things that sure aren't damsels in distress or whatever. Shinespark bit her lip. Also, there was Crystal, Fully continued. I didn't really want to upset her by ordering us to turn the ship around while she was having her kid. She's, um, pretty emotionally fragile. Anyway, yes, Felicity and Cinecy are still on the ship. They told me their roles in the stuff at Stormhoof. No, I don't trust them. And I'm pretty sure they won't try anything while I'm straight up watching. Uh, she sighed. But, I don't know. The one thing I know for sure is that I'm not going to be the only one who vouches for them anymore. You guys trusted my judgment. I trusted them. They blew it for me. And by extension, I blew it for you. So, once everyone's rested, they get to explain themselves to everyone. And we collectively decide what to do. Valet, Shinespark sighed. Right, we'll do that. Thank you for letting me know. Valet nodded. Yeah, I've still got some opinions of my own, but like I said, the fate with us is up to everyone. Not making a call by myself again. I don't know how rested everyone will be, Shinespark remarked. We didn't just spend all night flying here, but Crystal and last night's drama might have kept some ponies awake. We'll see when we can get everyone together and play it by ear. Oh, uh, Valise tail twitched. I don't know if it matters, but one other thing about Crystal? Uh, Shinespark perked an ear. Her kid was a bad pony. Valise slumped slightly. You know that stuff we heard from her and Chauncey about bad ponies always breeding true? Her lover boy was a griffin. So I'm really hoping we don't run into her again, but if we do, heads up that she's probably going to be even more unstable. Uh, Shinespark groaned. She cheated? Hopefully Percival is merciful to her. She shook her head. Speaking of bad ponies, would you like to tell me your plans for the newest prisoner of our pantry? Valet blinked hard. Bananas! I completely forgot about him! I'll, uh... I have absolutely no idea. End... Of chapter 749.